KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Good morning, this is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August 24th, 2019. I'm Scott Martin. We'll have increased shower and thunderstorm chances throughout the weekend and well into the first half of next week before we dry out and end up with lower humidity levels for the end of the week. We'll get to that in just a moment. At 7.06 this morning, we have a few light showers down over the southeastern parts of the area, along with a few spotty showers over the extreme southwestern parts of central Alabama. These are slowly drifting to the east. The rest of the area is dry at this point, with temperatures in the lower to mid-70s across the area. As far as cloud cover, the southern half of central Alabama is blanketed with clouds, while the northern half is mainly clear, but we do have some patchy fog out there. There is a significant weather advisory for the northeast corner of the state due to this patchy dense fog. That will go until 9 a.m. this morning. And the good news is there are no other advisories in effect for the rest of the state. Now let's get to the forecast as we'll start off with the 060 run of the GFS valid today at 1 p.m. A surface front will remain to the north of the area today and will set up another day with scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. With precipitable water values around or just over two inches today, we may see some issues with localized flash flooding as we saw on Friday. The most active weather will occur from the late morning through the early evening hours with much of the activity diminishing during the late evening into the late night hours. There may be a few isolated to scattered showers lingering around during the overnight hours. A few storms may become strong with gusty winds but there is no threat of organized severe weather for today. Highs will top out in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. A surface front will stall out over the northern portions of the area and combine that with a very moist onshore flow, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms will become likely during the afternoon hours on Sunday and will continue through the evening hours. The activity should wane during the late night and overnight hours but a few isolated to scattered showers and storms will remain possible. Once again, we may have some issues with localized flash flooding due to the heavy rain from some of the larger storms. Afternoon highs will be in the lower 80s to the lower 90s. A short wave is expected to slowly move through the southeastern U.S. on Monday through Wednesday, which will bring an enhanced risk of showers and thunderstorms on each day. While storms will be likely throughout the entire day on each day, most of the activity will occur during the afternoon and evening hours. A cold front will work through the area on Wednesday, which will bring lower rain chances behind the front, but rain will remain likely out ahead of it. Monday's highs will be in the 80s throughout the area, but we're back up into the mid 80s to the lower 90s on Tuesday and into the upper 80s to the lower 90s for Wednesday. Once a cold front passes through the area, drier air will move into central Alabama for Thursday and Friday. We'll have plenty of sunshine with just a few passing clouds. There may be an isolated shower or two somewhere over the southern parts of the area on Friday, but the odds are almost too small to mention. Highs on both days will be in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. Taking a look at the tropics, we have two disturbances we need to keep our eyes on at the moment. The first one, Invest 98L, was located just northwest of Miami this morning. No significant development is expected today while it slowly drifts to the north over the Florida Peninsula, but conditions will allow for gradual development once the disturbance moves back over the western Atlantic by Sunday. When that happens, a tropical or subtropical depression will form as it moves northeastward and away from the U.S. coastline. The second disturbance, Invest 99L, was located around 1,000 miles east of the Windward Islands and is currently moving westward at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Some organization has already been seen and it is likely to become a depression over the weekend or at the beginning of the work week. Once it reaches the Caribbean Sea by the middle of next week, conditions will not be favorable for further development for a little while. It is too early to tell what happens to Invest 99L after that, but we'll need to keep our eyes on it as it is expected to continue on a path towards Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, and eventually South Florida. The National Weather Association Foundation is bringing Weather Ready Fest to the campus of the University of Alabama in Huntsville on September 7, 2019 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This one-day festival will include family-friendly games, 
fun learning activities, large response vehicles, and enlightening speakers. Local and national celebrities will make special appearances, including a book signing by our very own James Spann during the morning hours. Over 6,000 attendees showed up in St. Louis for last year's event, so let's break that record this year. Get your free time tickets now as they are going fast. More information and a link to the tickets are available on our festival website at www.weatherreadyfest.com. Hope to see you there. That is all for the Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have updates on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out Sunday morning produced by Bill Murray. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.